I'm Amy Taylor and this is Merle Winger of House of Oak and Sofas. Thank you for being here again today. We're glad to be here. Thank you. And we're talking about um, entertainment centers. You know, you're buying a new TV, the chances are you're going to need a new entertainment center and you specialize in that. Well, people buy a lot of TVs, okay. you know, maybe yeah. even more than cars. They have them in multiple rooms. They change mm -hmm. when the technology comes out. And so with that change, you would expect perhaps that the stand that goes with it might change. Now, the biggest change in the last 10 years has been flat screen TVs, right. which have a very narrow profile, but also at the same time, people have decluttered their rooms. So 10 years ago, people loved these big wall units, you know, yeah. with pier cases mm -hmm. on both ends and put their little knickknacks right. in there and lights in it. But now it's one horizontal stand sitting under the TV. Mm -hmm. Nice, clean, and simple. They need something to put all their boxes in, maybe some mm -hmm. of their games, DVDs, that sort of thing. And this is an absolutely great looking piece. I love this. So it kind of brings me to the next question of what is the proper size? Entertainment, entertainment center that you should be looking for? I think this is sized pretty well. This is about a 52 inch TV and you have about four inches on each end. If you get it too close to the end, it looks crowded, it doesn't have room to breathe. That's sort of a general rule of furnishing, furnishing that right. if, you, if you have things too tight, you know, they, they don't look as good as if you give them a little space. So we think it should be six to eight inches wider than the television. Okay, and quickly about price ranges here. Uh, you could get a TV stand for a 50 inch TV at $399 and goes all the way up to $3,000. All right, give Merle a call or you can check out whsv.com backslash moms every day.